And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. I'm Mike Harrison, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. I appreciate you joining me today. I'm subbing in for the great Al Gordon. Al, if you're listening, buddy, rest up. Uh, we'll see you soon. Hope you're doing well. Okay, today's show is going to be awesome. Okay, awesome. Uh, and this show, uh, this came to me via an opportunity, let's call it, uh, came to me through the mail, right? Open the mailbox, and there it was. And as soon as I got into it just a tad, I, I knew I had a show. I, somebody mailed me a show. It was right there in my hand. Uh, literally, I was so tickled uh, when I got this flyer. It, it kind of reminded me the same exact feeling uh, have you ever put on a fresh pair of blue jeans? They've been washed, you know, and they're kind of tight. Uh, you haven't worn them for months. It's your favorite pair of blue jeans. Uh, you know, they fit you like a glove and you're putting them on and, and in your pocket, you feel this folded piece of paper. You're like, what the heck is this? You know, I just washed these jeans and they've been hanging in my closet for a few weeks. And you pull that piece of paper out and you unfold it and you look at it and it's a crisp, freshly washed $20 bill. And you say to yourself, today is going to be a good day. Well, that's the same feeling I got when I pulled out this piece of, let's just call it for what it is, junk mail. And, and frankly, I'm amazed at, at the money some of these businesses spend on this stuff and they just mail it out to thousands or tens of thousands of people. How do they make how do they make enough money to do that? But anyway, uh, not to harp on the junk mail, but just the, the amazing fact that this piece of paper even survived, because you see in my household, junk mail doesn't last long, literally pull it out of the mailbox, you're already glancing at it as you're walking back up to your front door and you've pretty much kind of separated everything good from the junk and the junk goes straight into the trash. Um, my wife actually, she's quicker on the draw than I am uh, as, as far as that goes. And she's quick to, nope, credit card offer, tear it up or something along these lines. No, no, no. But I, I glanced at this and I, and I took a double a double look at it, let's just say, because I've always been one of those financial reader junkies. I, I definitely was back in the BL days before lifestyles. Um, I mean, I was the guy that subscribed to Money Magazine, The Economist, um, Inc. Magazine. I got, them, I got them each month. I was happy when I got them. I read them cover to cover. Uh, but just that, that nerd that read about financing, investing, markets, all that good stuff. Um, I would have subscribed to Barron's, to tell you the truth, but I couldn't afford that massive subscription price. So um, looking back, I'm glad I glad I didn't have the money back then because I've definitely taken that real estate investing path. But I'm glancing at this um, at this piece of mail, and I thought, ah, I'll, I'll look at it just to kind of see what's brewing on the other side, and and maybe have a chuckle, but. Hey, this is a nice flyer. It's glossy. It's folded into three three parts. And uh, on the outside of it, it says uh, lunch or dinner invitation enclosed. And it's got photos from a very nice local restaurant. And, and I'll leave the restaurant name out. It, it's really a great place. Uh, it's an excellent restaurant. Uh, bring your wife, bring your friend there. Uh, just incredible meal. Uh, and this restaurant's, they're in business to serve incredibly nice meals. That's what they do. Even if some group is renting out the back room and, you know, picking up $150 a plate uh, dinners for folks so that they can sell something, right? Do their two cents, do their dog and pony show and, and sell something while people are literally uh, eating an incredible meal. I mean, I, I think if my wife and I went here it would not be hard to drop 300 bucks. I mean, you're going to have cocktails beforehand. You're going to have the appetizer. You're going to have the entree. You're going to have the bottle of wine. Uh, like I said, first class place. Uh, so this mailer has my attention. Now I got to open it and I have to smile because as I realize what I'm reading, the joke's on me. Um, but I knew that this was a radio show as soon as I read the headline. Now brace yourself for the headline. 
why you may need more money for retirement and steps you can take now to address these issues. Look, if you took every radio show I've done for the last three years and put those into words and published them and put them in a book, you would do worse by naming that book why you may need more money for retirement and steps you can take now to address these issues. That could be the title of, if you took my, like I said, my portfolio, my show, why I do it. Um, but I would even say it like this. I'm going to take it one step further than the flyer, and I'm going to say, you will need more money for retirement and steps that you better take now to address these issues. And ding, ding, they are cash flowing real estate. Now, I'm not going to rent out some restaurant and comp $150 a plate meals for people to tell you that. You can listen to my show for free. You can listen to this show and you can find all my other shows at the Lifestyles Unlimited website, lifestylesunlimited.com. You can tune in while you're driving and listen to it. Again, no charge, my friends. I'm not going to buy dinner. You know, hey, you come visit me. We'll go have dinner together and we don't need to talk about anything. We can just have a good time. But the highlights of this particular dinner event, they had seven highlights. And we're going to go through these because investing in the stock market is not the answer. And honestly, I don't know how they can pull it off. Investing in real estate is the answer. If you have any questions about real estate investing, about Lifestyles Unlimited, how to get started, please send me an email. My email address is askmike at lu inc.com ask mike at l u i n c.com not sure if you realize it but this show is just one part of what we call the lifestyles unlimited radio network lifestyles unlimited radio network this is the lifestyles unlimited real estate investor radio show but you also have the dell walmsley radio show and if you don't know who dell is he's the founder of lifestyles unlimited he started lifestyles unlimited 30 years ago we have members in all 50 states and he has taught thousands upon thousands of people to retire themselves to build financial freedom one piece at a time so part of the lifestyles unlimited radio network and yes our audience continues to grow i'd like to have a give a shout out to chattanooga tennessee wgow chattanooga tennessee just added the lifestyles unlimited real estate investor radio show and the Dell Walmsley radio show. So if you're in Chattanooga, you can catch, catch us early. I mean, we start at 6 a.m. at WGOW. We're happy to have you on board. A uh, little shout out to my friends in Tennessee. My friend Al Gordon loved the fact that we as an entity are, and this is for you, Al, we're growing and we're moving on up. And so that Lifestyle is Unlimited radio network uh, you've got the radio shows you also have us have us on our youtube channel you can find us on youtube ton of content there you can find us on your favorite podcast app and as always you can find us at lifestylesunlimited.com all right today's show why don't we just title it uh, you too can trade or engage in a free dinner for bad advice you too can engage in a free dinner for bad advice and i'm checking the mail the other day and, and I get this very nice mailer um, and I didn't throw it away I glanced at it because on the outside it had pictures of a super nice restaurant and they said come join us for a free dinner and you open it up uh, it's catchy and it's got the dinner I mean it's got the salmon it's got the filet it's got the appetizer uh, it's got the dessert it's got everything you need and then the title of this is why you may need more money for retirement and steps you can take now to address these issues oh we, we better address this right now uh, again my three years of radio shows you can call it that and in, in fact I'll go one step further you're going to need more money for retirement you're going to need more money it costs more when you're older there's health care there's medicine there's just taxes Do you see taxes going down anytime soon no so taxes are going to continue to grow things are there's inflation right inflation's real there's always inflation it just didn't happen to be nine percent it's typically about two on an annual basis but there's always inflation so just right there yeah you're going to need more money for retirement than you think you are and then what steps you need to be taken to move forward and that's literally that's one half of the reasoning for my show 
Um, you're going to need more money. Taxes, inflation, people are living longer. That's great. Don't outlive your money. The other half of my show is why wait for retirement to be financially free? Why do we need to wait for an age, right? Why does retirement have to be an age? Everyone always tells you, oh, you well, now they're telling you to retire when you're 70. Uh, and 20% of people over the age of 70 just financially can't retire. They're still working. So, again, that question is, why do you have to wait? Why do you have to wait to be 65, 70, 75? Don't wait. Invest. Retire yourself. Buy your life back one chunk at a time. Invest in cash flowing real estate. That's what we teach here at Lifestyles Unlimited. We are a real estate mentoring and educational group. So reading further in this flyer, you get past the free dinner and literally there's two financial planners. Uh, excuse me. They call themselves wealth managers. We're not a finance. It, it's you always change the words, right? That changing the words to to make it mean something it doesn't mean, I guess. So financial planner is now called a wealth manager. OK, anyway, um, they're going to give you a free meal and you're going to listen to them talk. And then at the end of the talk, they're going to ask you to sign over an amount of your savings. They call them investments, but it's an amount of your savings. And you're going to essentially give them full control over your market, over your money to go put into the stock market. Um, I'm thinking, boy, how in the heck will they pay for all of these expensive dinners? I mean, like I said, this is a $150 a plate uh, restaurant. I'm sure they're getting a discount. Uh, I don't know, half the price. All right, call it $75 a head. Um, and they're doing this. They have five different dates that you can attend. And I'm looking at them going, man, that's a lot of salmon. That's a lot of filet. And reading further, I'm looking at these guys' background. And, and look, I'm not here to throw darts at these guys. This is not for me, okay? This is for other people, but it's not for me, Mike Harrison, real estate investor. So one of them's got a Forbes award of some sort, uh, which Forbes, obviously, financial services. They've been in the financial services industry for two decades. Uh, the other one's a Dave Ramsey accolade. And, hey, Dave's, Dave's great to get you out of debt, but then what? Dave doesn't have a great plan for getting you rich. He, again, his plan's the 40-year plan, um, pay the house off, and if you're going to buy an investment property, you need to pay cash. And um, come back to me when you save that $250,000 and pay cash for that first rent house. How long is that going to take you uh, in today's world of inflation, continuous inflation? Yes, there's inflation and uh, stuff. I mean, interest rates going up. Um, we do it a little different way, my friends. Um, my custom wealth strategy that I have for you, um, I'll teach you how to double your money every three to four years, if not sooner, and create cash flow along the way. That's what we do. As much as I would like to buy you a nice salmon filet, a glass of wine, no strings attached, what have you, as much as I would like to do that for y'all just out of the kindness of my heart, um, we're not doing that. Just tune in, listen to our show, attend a free workshop. And I'm not saying that these two guys that are putting this particular, I guess, call it a seminar or, or dinner speech or, or what have you. I, I'm not saying they're not successful. I'm, I'm sure they're very, very successful at what they do. And they go on and they have seven points, essentially why you need to give them your life savings not investments, life savings, that's what they are, and let them position them in some way, shape, or form, or manner that is going to cover these seven points that they had. And, oh, by the way, they're going to pay themselves nicely along the way, and there are no free dinners out there. They're going to pay for this dinner, too, at the same time. But there are seven points. Uh, what's funny is where this comes in. I'm going to take these seven points, and I'm going to tell you, why you need to invest in real estate. But their seven points are inflation. Will your yields keep up with inflation? Uh, if you're in the market, no. And I'll give you an example why. Uh, retirement savings. How much will you need to save so you don't run out? Okay, now we're scaring people. Uh, Social Security. How can you maximize your benefits and protect your spouse? Longevity risk. Will rising medical expenses and extended care costs affect your finances? Yes, they will. They talk about taxes, which is funny because real estate investing is pretty much tax-free when done correctly. 
And then they talk about generating lifetime income. So when we come back, I'm going to use those seven reasons and tell you why real estate is the best investment. Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Stop waiting. Stop sitting around. Stop procrastinating. This is your time. Make it happen. Do it now. When's the best time? Now. People go, well, I don't know. It's gonna crash. It's gonna be better next year. It's, I've gotta to listen to four more classes. I love guys come up to me and tell me, you know, I've been listening to you on the radio for eight years now, right? <laughs> I go, and you're not rich yet? <laughs> well, really, I'm thinking about joining next month. <laughs> Do it now. Learn the skills you need to retire with real estate in five years or less. Do it now. Register for the Lifestyles Unlimited free online workshop, lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. I'm Mike Harrison, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. Proudly sitting in for the great Al Gordon, I join you today. If you've got any questions or comments about today's show or about Lifestyles Unlimited, please reach out to me. My email address is askmike at luinc.com, askmike at luinc.com. If you'd like to attend our free workshop where you can learn how we make money, five ways on a single family property, six ways on a multifamily property, please go to freeworkshoplivestream.com, freeworkshoplivestream.com. No obligations. It's not a video. You can interact with the person conducting that live stream. You can ask them questions. I, I recommend if you've got a spouse, your best friend, uh, your partner, whoever, sit in with that partner. That partner is going to have questions. They're going to want to know what you're doing, why you're doing it, why you want to know this. They may already know that you're looking for a way out like I was. Uh, and I was lucky enough to find Lifestyles Unlimited. That was way back in, in 2013. And my life has been different ever since. Now, if you want to join, we are running a promo right now. The retail price is $740. If you type in the promo code SAVE BIG, all capital letters, S A V E B I G, it will reduce that price to $297 for two years. Where can you do that? FinancialFreedomLivestream.com. FinancialFreedomLivestream.com. Dot com. Are you seeing the pattern here? Once you join, you'll have access to our vendor list. That's worth the price of admission just on its own. These are vendors that specifically cater to real estate investors. It's so different. When I tried real estate investing by myself, I didn't have a team around me. I didn't even know that there was an entire group of folks that cater directly to real estate investors. I was doing everything on my own. I wasn't getting advice. I wasn't getting that beautiful knowledge. I wasn't getting people that were saying, no, Harrison, don't do that. Do this. Or here's what you should be doing. I had none of that guidance. Well, when you join us, you can have that guidance. You can learn how to be effective and you can have access to those vendors that cater directly to real estate investors, contractors, lenders, everybody specific to what we do, not just generic run of the mill people, insurance people, you name it, they're there. So I'm reviewing a flyer that I got in the mail, and it's from a couple of um, wealth planners, right? Did we cover that? Anyway, they're going to give you a really nice dinner to come hear them talk. They're going to trade uh, some salmon. They're going to trade some steak, uh, and you're going to give them your life savings, and they're going to invest it, and they're going to make good money. These guys were well-dressed in their picture, man. Nice suits, by the way. Uh, but they've got seven points why you need to hand over your life savings to them. And the seven points that they address that should be concerning you. Hey, and I don't disagree with this part at all. This is where we're on the same page. I just disagree with if this is the problem, what's the solution? And the solution is not the stock market. Okay. It's not the stock market. 
Uh, unless you've got six million dollars, four to six million dollars, you want to hand it off, and you're okay with mediocre three to four percent returns because they're going to put it in a in a place that's going to protect it. And so protection equals low return. And if you're okay with that, then maybe this is your game, and you just don't want to get out of your comfort zone. If if uh, my mom taught me that I need to demand a little more from my dollar. Okay. I need to demand a little more. I require more than a three or 4% return for my dollar. Yeah. I, I require it to be invested safely too. Okay. I'm not going to give up safety to maximize return. I don't think that's a good idea either, but that's what they teach you in the stock market. So uh, let me, let me share these seven points. Uh, point one, inflation, Point two, retirement savings, and they're saying, how much will you need to save so you don't run out? Uh, that's where they give you the 3 or 4% annual play, right? You got $1 million, you can live on 3 or 4%. Uh, that way we won't deplete it. Uh, and then, anyway, just go on. Um, they talk about Social Security. They talk about longevity risk. They talk about taxes. They talk about retirement income. And they talk about the markets because it's not if- the market drops, it's a win. So let's take these one by one and just have a little discussion. Let's hit that inflation one first, right? That seems to be the topic on everybody's mind today. Inflation ended July at 8.5%. Biden came out and did, and, and I try to stay away from politics, but this one, this is not politics. We're talking about inflation. Biden came out and he did a big press conference, man. He's got the, the aviator glasses on and he's all buttoned up. And uh, he kept saying the word zero. I mean, zero. Let me share a word with you. Actually, it's a number. Zero. He said it like five or six or seven times. He makes a living. How can I be kind here? Um, he makes a living because there's a lot of, let's just say, uninformed people that believe this stuff. Um, was inflation zero? No, it's still 8.5%. It's basically unchanged from the previous month, but 8.5, at least the number they give us, is still unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. And I'll tell you, gas is two or three times what it used to be, but zero, zero, Z-E-R-O. So he makes a living. It's insulting. It is. I, I guess they think we're stupid. But um, anyway, that came out. And you know what? You know what makes me think about this? Um, let's just say uninformed people or people that don't care. It must be nice to be a zombie. It's, it's a curse to be informed, but it must be nice being a zombie. Um, this would be... I heard a great analogy. Um, let's say a coach comes out and uh, they're giving the team the team speech at the end of the game, and they're going, uh, they scored zero. They scored zero. And you feel like going, hey, coach, look at the scoreboard. You lost 77 to nothing. And he goes, well, yeah, but in the last two minutes, we held them scoreless. That's the same. That is the exact same thing. So, uh, if you can go through life as a mindless zombie, you are living in bliss. It's people like me that are absolutely cursed because we see this. We understand this. So if inflation is 8.5%, what do you need to do to break even? They, they ask the question in the flyer. They say, will your yields keep up with inflation? So I'm immediately thinking, you need to deliver 8.5 just to, to break even. And what was it the month before? Nine. Um, and if you're investing in the stock market, those are pre-tax numbers. So you need to be bringing me four to 16 percent. OK, four to 16. We're going to pay the taxes off of that. And that's how we're going to keep up with inflation. Do these guys have market investments that are delivering that? I don't know. Um, I'm not going to go to the free dinner to find out. But I doubt it. I, I never knew that was out there in the market. Uh, you can make four. That's got to be on an annual basis, and that's got to be safely invested. So that's idea number one is inflation. But I'll tell you, if you're a real estate investor, think of it like this. Um, real estate, what's it do when there are times of inflation? Well, real estate grows in value because of inflation. It grows in value because of inflation. So that's just one way, we don't necessarily count on it, but that's just one way we make money. But when when we look at real estate, 
I sold a house in December of 2021. My take home from the sale of that property, and this is just a modest everyday home, okay? Nothing special. We did a nice rehab on it, put granite and the gray package and all that. I was all in this property for right around $40,000, okay? That was my out-of-pocket to buy this property. My take home when I sold this house in December of 2021 was $122,000. One twenty-two. Where are you doing that in the stock market? And oh, by the way, in 2019, I did a refi. I pulled twenty-five thousand out. I had a sixteen percent cash on cash return every year. We're having a lot of fun today. Checked the mail the other day and got a flyer. And typically, I would identify this as junk mail and immediately put that into the trash can, right, or recycle bin. If it's all paper, we're recycling it. But anyway, that gets stacked up and you take it out there. You don't even look at it a second time. But this one, well, I had to take a I had to take a second look at it and actually open it up because it had um it had it was advertising free dinner essentially at a very nice restaurant, okay? Uh very nice place. I mean, I would classify this restaurant as $150 a plate if uh you and your significant other uh went to this place and you had appetizer your meal, your entree, maybe salad, a uh, bottle of wine, you're going to easily be over 300 bucks, give or take, somewhere in there. But anyway, nice dinner. However, when you get there, you're going to get the pitch from the wealth managers that are going to tell you why you need to give them uh, all of your hard-earned blood, sweat, and tear retirement savings. And then they're going to pr- uh, protect you from seven different factors. And I mean, that's that's a hard delivery in the market. All seven of these, um, I might have been better off talking about one or two if I'm trying to sell stock market investing to somebody. But to put all seven in there, I mean, the salmon must be incredible. It must be so good it hypnotizes people. Yes, here is my money. Take it. I'm okay with three, four percent returns. Um, and nope, for my mom, she demands better of her dollar and she taught me that as well. Uh, I just need more than a three or 4% return for uh, just for return sake, okay? Just, and I, I need the safety as well. I'm not giving up safety, but so the first thing they talked about, and if you missed it in the previous segment, was inflation. Uh, I got inflation at 8.5, that's from three different sources this month. It's not zero, it's 8.5. Honestly, if we use the same calculations, uh, that were used uh, in the 80s and 90s, uh, maybe even right around the turn of the century. Uh, if you look at that, there's a there's a deal out there. It's called Shadow Graph, Shadow Market. So I, I stumble into that every now and then. Shadow Graphs, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see how they measure stuff today because they change the meaning of words, right? We're not in a recession, or a recession doesn't mean two quarters of GDP down. It means something else, right? Hey, look this way, not this way. Anyway... Uh, they change the meanings of words, and they change how things are quantified and measured. Real inflation, honestly, has got to be 15 or 16 percent. And I can't imagine uh, if I was in the uh, service industry, um, roofer, HVAC, uh, mechanic, uh, tech person that has to drive from job to job to job. Um, if you ask them, if no, if you go to them, hey, uh, are your expenses up 8.5 percent? They're going to punch you in the nose because their expenses are way higher than that. So uh, inflation, let's think about what inflation does in within investing, okay? Inflation drives down the value of money, okay? It drives down the value of money, which means you need more money to buy something of value, like a cash flowing rental property. And so property values are going to continue to go up. It is a hard asset, especially if you have a property, let's say a multifamily property and it's a well-run business. Uh, so less money is gonna be chasing this asset and uh, essentially it's going to make the asset i don't know that it makes it worth more i'm going to tell you if you run the business it's worth more but it's just literally going to take more money to buy that asset so real estate if you have inflation the value of that asset the cost of that asset's just going to go up that's just that's economics 101 now let's look at stocks stocks are shares of companies 
people always go, well, well Mike, the market's headed to 40000 And I go, yeah, because it takes more dollars. It doesn't mean that the, the stock market is value, more valuable than it was before. You're just using more of these little things called dollars to buy essentially something of the same amount of value. So the profits, and think about a business. Um, a business needs profit, and that profit is typically paid in dollars or whatever the currency is of where the business is. But if the dollars are worth less, is the company making more? No, no, it's not. It, it looks like it, but if you got to dig in and you got to do the math, stocks cannot keep up with this inflation. You're going to think they can, but they can't. So hopefully I address that inflation side and, and stress the value of, of real estate. Now, their second point, and we might not get to all seven of these, but we're having fun. Retirement savings. They say, how much will you need to save so you don't run out? How about this? Let me ask you a question. How much do you need this month to pay your bills? And if that number is three grand, why don't we find a way to make you $3,500 a month so that you can cover all of your financial obligations? And when you get to that point, I'm going to call you retired and you can live, you can live to be 200 years. As long as your money keeps growing, you can live forever. Okay. But I'll tell you what these guys are going to do. They're going to say, uh, what do you need to live on, Steve? And Steve's going to go, well, you know, I, I need $160,000 pre-tax. After I pay taxes, that gives me about twelve grand, ten grand a month. Um, I've got children. I've, you know, I want to make sure I have money in case there's health issues. We've got entertainment. We, we like to travel. Uh, I've got utility bills that are skyrocketing right now. So, yeah, I need ten grand a month. So that means uh, one sixty dollars pre-tax. Okay. All right. Well, Steve, here's what we're going to need to do. You're going to need to save $4 million because you can only use 4% of that. So 4% of a million is 40 grand, 40 grand times four. There's your 160. Bing, bing, bing. We hit the number and here you go. So Steve, bring me the 4 million so that we can invest it. And then you will have enough money that you don't run out. That's what they tell you. Heck, some people are saying 3% now. So that's going to put us in the uh, almost 600,000, five plus, I guess. Uh, anyway, don't have a calculator in front of me. It doesn't matter. But that's what they're going to tell you on the retirement savings. So if you're worried about running out of money and you're that stock market investor, you can only touch three to 4% of it. Okay. That's with no market downturns. Well, the market pops down 30 points, 40 points, uh, not points, but percentage points. You're in trouble. You're in, suddenly you don't have enough quote unquote retirement savings. And they're using that word savings. That's exactly what it is. All right, then they go into the next point, social security. They say, how can you maximize your benefits and protect your spouse? Hmm. I don't know. Why don't I protect my spouse by creating a nice fat chunk of money that comes to our house every month? And I won't worry about this thing called social security. I don't even know where to start about maximizing your benefits. You, you know what they're going to tell you? They say, don't take your benefits till you're 77. Have a great life. I mean, 77, my back hurts now sometimes after doing the yard. What am I going to feel like when I'm 77? Someone's going to go, oh, Mike, you can finally take your Social Security because you're 77. Uh, man, at that time, I'm not even going to care. All right. Get out of my house. Stop bothering me. I'm going to be grouchy old man. Get off my lawn. I don't want to talk to you about my social security benefits and maximizing them so I don't take it when I'm 77. That's my money. I'd like to get it as soon as possible, please. Thank you. All right. Longevity risk. Will rising medical expenses and extended care cost affect your finances? Yes, they will. Why do you even have to answer that question? Is medical expenses, are they going down anytime soon? No. Have you seen these hospitals that they build? They're phenomenal. Medical expenses are not going down, especially when big pharma has our political machine in its pocket. OK, those prices are going to continue to skyrocket. And when the government starts paying for things and they say, well, we'll just cover this for these group of people and this group of people. Guess what? The price is astronaut they just raise it if if i know the government's paying me and i used to sell this for 50 bucks now if the government's paying it i could bill them 250 what do you think the medical industry is doing yes so the answer to that will medical expenses and extended care cost affect your finances you're darn right they will they absolutely will i think that 
medical issues might be the number one cause of bankruptcy in this country. Number one. Okay, it's either divorce or medical. They're both right there. And yeah, medical is an issue. It's not going to get any cheaper. What's it going to be five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now? You need a different strategy. It's not the stock market. Taxes. This one's comical. What are the best strategies for reducing taxes on your retirement savings and investments? Uh, How about this? Why don't we purchase some real estate and then depreciate the real estate against my cash flow and then my income's tax free. Yeah, I like that strategy. Where you you can put it in uh, tax free municipal bonds, uh, munis. Okay, thanks for my one percent return, two percent return, but at least I don't have to pay taxes. Um, no, and if you if you're Steve and you need that hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year in income, well, you just reach the upper level of the tax bracket, and you're going to be paying forty points. Uh, plus Medicare, plus social. So the best strategy for reducing taxes on retirement savings and investment is called investing in business assets. Investing in business assets, we call that real estate, cash flowing real estate. That's your best strategy, my friend. I got money back last year on my taxes. I got money back. What a great feeling when Uncle Sam, look, he made a ton. We pay property taxes. We pay a lot of other things. But when you get money back on your taxes, it's a good feeling. So they make another point. They say retirement income. How can you generate lifetime income that is both predictable and dependable? Uh, you can go to Lifestyles Unlimited Free Workshop Livestream.com and you can find out just how to do that. That's what we do. That's what we teach. That's why we're here. And then their last point is the markets. Get out of the market. Don't worry about that drop because that drop will come. My name is Mike Harrison. I want you to remember it's not the money. It's the lifestyle. Make it a great day. The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented.